Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party, Season 3, Episode 1. Uh, the stream highlight episode was kind of episode zero. This is episode one. The sun started to go down. Cool. So let me uh, let me show you around a little bit. Um, house. I built a little tiny house. It's just the entrance into the, my little hidey hole cave, but that's fine. I think it's cute. I'm not a great builder. Uh, so I just want to do like a little alpine house sort of thing. And we have a little time before it gets completely dark. Um, Farms. I built a couple little farms, grabbed some uh, spruce saplings. So I have a little wood farm here, grabbed a couple other types of saplings, oak and, and uh, not spruce, birch um, for light and dark. And um, do I have? No, I don't. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, planted, raided that, that village on the way over here. <laughs> Grabbed some uh, carrots and potatoes, a carrot and some potatoes. And um, I should have done this before I started recording, but I made a spyglass. Let's uh, go back out. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle to find iron because I think I'm doing it wrong. But I come down here and I look up here, whoa, spyglass. And there's iron, there's iron up there. And then there's iron like over here somewhere. There's coal up there. There's there's iron, look, there's iron right there. It's all very cool. Um, but, uh, grab some sugar cane and I grab some uh, potatoes and of course wheat seeds and there's pumpkins, there's pumpkins like just on the hills, like over there. You can see them right there. Oh, let me put the spyglass back. Let me do this. Pumpkins. Um, so I grabbed, I grabbed a pumpkin and I started a little pumpkin patch. We'll see how that goes. And then I planted the thing. One thing I noticed, or I thought, I was like, oh, this is a good idea. Um, having a trough of water here without some sort of cover is a little inconvenient because you fall down the water you have to jump out and you actually trample the crops and that's so good um but then i thought oh i could just put a, a slab over the top i don't know if that impedes the growth of the uh of the crops i hear i hear a zombie somewhere somewhere might be below me who knows there might be a cave right below here um so then i thought oh would it work with a waterlog block? So I put stairs in here and I waterlog them. And guess what? It works. Works perfectly fine. You can walk on top of it. Don't dip down at all. Okay. And so I did the same thing over here with the sugar cane. And the cool thing is, this is still an infinite water source. If I um, dump my water somewhere temporarily, uh, I could pick that up and it'll refill. It's great. And then this, same thing, but the stair is upside down. So it's waterlogged on the bottom and it still works. How cool is that? Uh, I don't think it impacts rates. Things seem to be growing pretty, pretty fine. Just keeping an eye out for creepers. I had a, I had a, I had a creeper walk into my house just, just randomly. Uh, the cool thing about the lighting, the new lighting up, the new update with the lighting, the mob spot, it doesn't take nearly as many torches to prevent things from spawning. So, tree, a uh, little, some tree farms. My main source of wood, which is this uh, giant spruce here. Farms, got the composter, and I put some stuff in here for other people when they show up. Let's go inside, because it is dark. And here's my little entryway. Yeah, so it's not great. Initially, I put this up and put these up here so that things couldn't uh, walk in, but it kind of requires them being closed in order to prevent things like creepers from just strolling in. Um, so yeah, and then I put down, dug down to the bottom and then I put stairs. So let's, uh, let's grab some, some stuff here and let's make, let's make a few things. Um, I need some pickaxes and 
just back up. As I said, iron's been a little bit hard to come by. I've got like eight pieces in addition to the boots I'm wearing and my bucket. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm kind of looking in the wrong place, but I definitely wanted to record. This isn't going to be a long episode, I don't think. Um, I just came down here and started mining. And of course, because of the world height change, we're here up above 200. I don't know. No, now we're, now we're not. Sorry, I was looking at the X. Um, but, you know, the world goes way up above 250. So it goes up to three something. And then it goes down. It goes down into negative numbers. Which is a little weird to me that they made that decision. That they didn't just reset and like make it 384 height blocks of height. I think it's 384 total. From zero at the bottom. Um, and I would love to know why they did that. I'm sure there's a practical reason that lots of things are hard coded, um, such that it, it works. So I've been clearing out some of these uh, some of these blocks, and as you clear out the spawning air gap air blocks for these things, they start spawning much more. Um, they spawn pretty good. Is this one mature? Uh, no, it's a bud, so we'll walk around it. I think I can fit. Yeah. Uh, so those are cool. And then, of course, you can use the shards to craft the amethyst block, so it's renewable, which is cool. Uh, but I'm sure there are plenty of those things around all over the place. So I dug this all the way down to bedrock. But we're not going to mine at bedrock because there would be lava. So this is like my mine. I'm setting it up, and this is the first one, the first shaft that I did. And I'm doing this a little differently. I'll show you. I, I have I have plenty of torches, so I'll show you uh, my process here. But because of the new lighting rules, don't need to um, put down nearly as many torches. So it used to be for every four blocks that I dug, I would lay three torches, which is not super efficient. Uh, and I've got torches on the ground up here, and it's not because I need it for light. It's because I wanted to mark out. Oh, let me eat some potatoes. Oh, potatoes, so yummy. All right, so it's because diamonds or diamond. Uh, so I, I found a diamond here. I didn't want it to get out when it wasn't recorded. So. It's my first diamond. Okay. Okay. So this deep slate is pretty cool. And I have a ton of it because down here, it's all the same. It's not, you don't have the mix of stone types, the same mix of stone types that you do up above. So, and this stuff, the cobbled deep slate looks very similar to the regular deep slate. Well, fairly similar. So it's less obnoxious than the cobblestone smooth stone. For sure. And then I was digging down here and I had, I mean, I dug quite a bit before hitting that diamond and then kept on going and then bam, diamonds. So here's four. So let's get these. Oh, my heart skipped a beat. I was thinking that I was using the wrong tool. So now I have five diamonds. Very cool. Uh, so let me fill this in. That's my thing. Oops. Um, and I know I'm a little obsessive when it comes to refilling in my my holes, but I think it, it keeps things nice and tidy. Okay, so. Here's what we do. Basically, from each of these intersections, I dig as far as the pickle go, which is five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I turn, I dig five blocks down there. I dig five blocks down that way. And then I dig up one here and I put a torch in the ceiling. And that's enough to make down at the end of this, the light here is seven. 
so there's no spawning. And all of this is seven. I mean, basically, seven is the lowest it gets. Perfect. So this one torch, and then the cool thing is if I look up, if I'm like wondering which way is back home, if I can look up and see the torches, I'm heading back towards the main shaft. I think it's pretty smart. Okay, so. And then I came across this. And I don't have a shield yet. It's probably kind of a dumb, uh, dumb move to, to explore too far here. But we got lava and then caves. Um, and I see more iron. I think I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. So I, I seen some discussion of ore distribution in 1.18 and it kind of suggests that you can't get much iron down this low, but I think, I think they're wrong. Okay, so let's see how much iron I get here. Maybe, hopefully this is a bigger than just two. Oh, there's some behind it. Yay. Oh, and it's this iron in the, the cobbled or whatever. The, this is a different form of iron, right? It's, this is deep slate iron ore. Makes sense. Okay, I'm going to grab that. I'm not going to fill that block in. Okay, so now, oh, the... Is that more? No, it's gold. Put the light down there. Uh, I need to use the iron pick to get the gold. So I have more gold than I have iron. Which, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, obviously, I can make... I could make gold armor, which I'll need when it comes time to get into the nether. And then, is this, no, that's dead end. Okay. Nice. So now, I think I have enough iron that I feel somewhat comfortable making a shield. All right, okay, and then this was, this is my mine shaft over here. And... I should probably grab some of this lava. And then this makes me a little nervous. But there's some redstone there. Let's go light up a little bit. Oh, it gets, gets scary. Okay, that's good. <laughs> More redstone. Oh, good. So I think. Oh, good. So we're we're, we're safe here. So I think caving is going to be a better way of getting resources like iron, and probably diamonds than uh, than mining. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Um, there's that redstone. So I've got, I've got some redstone now too. Again, don't know, don't have a ton need for it. Should probably make a clock. Very used to having a clock. Um, and compass, right? And, okay. Ooh, oh, what's this down here? Oh, lava, that looks dangerous. Let's get that redstone and see what happens when I take this out. Okay. Make my way down. Uh, sorry about the uh, background noise. Uh, Chihuahua Power G is working. Um, <clears throat> so you might hear a little bit of her uh, phone conversation in the back. Oops. Oh, nice. Okay, so now let me grab this and then we'll head back up. I should make a shield. And we may need to go a little adventure. Okay, so we are, we're well, not quite ready. So I've been doing some grinding. Um, 
We are, we have some resources now, not a ton. Um, I made a diamond pickaxe so I could get some obsidian so I could make another portal and made a flint and steel so I could light it. I've got enough iron that I'm going to make some iron armor. Uh, I've got a little bit of diamonds, not quite sure what to, uh, to do with those. Um, I've got, I set aside some obsidian and should set aside a couple diamonds to make a enchanting table we need books so the next uh next time i think what we're going to do is we're going to go back that village which was over there i think and we're going to go we're going to go steal their books because they had bookshelves and i want them uh and then uh we will probably find a spot around here that makes sense i may build a little platform Keep it away from stuff. Uh, build another portal. Take a look and see what the nether looks like. Um, and then, oh, hello. Uh, and see if we can get some uh, blaze powder. And so we can potentially, or not potentially, so we can we can start uh, enchanting our uh, potions. Potions would be handy. I'm gonna need to find a source of uh, sand. So we'll probably have to go on a little expedition to find a river, get some sand so we can make some glass and bottles. Um, and then uh, that, that'll get us to a point where we can make, oh, I need leather. So there's still, I've got projects in mind um, and we will, we will sort it out. Uh, but we want to be able to do enchanting because you forget how slow, even with a diamond pick, just, just mining obsidian is without uh, efficiency. So yeah, so there we go. So I think that will do it for now. Um, just trying to gather up stuff so that when it comes time, when I have a source of leather, um, I have a, I have paper. That will be very important. Um, so yeah, there we go. So that's it. Um, sorry, spared you all of the. Uh, boring mining details. I may cut in some because I did find a few additional bits and pieces. Um, still not find a lot of iron. I did climb up here and dig out the iron that I was able to see up here. I got more iron doing that than, um, than I did mining, which is you know, frustrating. Uh, so, yeah. So we will see how that goes. Um, so I may have to do some engine mountaineering in order to get more iron, because that may be the best way of doing it, at least for now. Uh, the thing is, the powdered snow is a pain in the butt. I got caught in some, took some damage. That was no fun. Um, and so I need some leather boots, which means I need a source of leather. Which means we need cows. Whoa, tree just grew. So that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time when we go steal some books. Oops. Thanks for watching. Bye.